where they finished last in the division. 2012 was the team's first losing season since 1997. No pundit predicted there'd be October baseball in Boston, but the 2013 club was a motivated group of ball players, a mix of old faces and new friends looking to prove skeptics wrong. They trusted their talent and understood that what separates the great teams from the good ones is something bigger than baseball, something that can bring a team together and make them unbeatable. In the aftermath of April 15, 2013, the displays of generosity, strength, and resilience by survivors, first responders, and the city inspired this bearded band of brothers to demand more of themselves and each other throughout the season. Never counting themselves out of any game, this team developed a resilience of their own. Their play embodied the passionate, selfless, and relentless spirit of Boston, and in turn, the city rallied around them. When the 2013 Red Sox clinched the World Series championship on their home soil for the first time in 95 years, it was a manifestation of the special bond that had developed between a team and their city. It became a symbolic representation of what happens when we come together in support of one another. To everyone watching, it was an assertion that they were all champions. It demonstrated that we are all Boston strong. Today on Marathon Weekend, they have come from all corners of the world to return to the city they love, the city of Boston, to honor the strength of the city, remember those lost, and celebrate an unforgettable year. First, please welcome back to Boston, the man who led the Red Sox from worst to first and to a World Series championship in his first year at the helm, manager John Farrell. And from his staff, please welcome first base coach Arnie Baylor. Third base coach Brian Butterfield. Hitting coach Greg Colbrin. And Major League staff member Eno Guerrero. And now the players from the 2013 World Series champs. Leading off just as he did 10 years ago, a speedy center fielder who holds the franchise record for stolen bases in a single season. Please welcome back to Boston, Jacoby Ellsbury. In the cleanup spot is a man whose words in April and October and actions in the postseason earned him World Series Most Valuable Player Award honors and further solidified him as the most clutch hitter in team history. Welcome Hall of Famer, number 34, Big Poppy, David Ortiz. Playing in front of the Green Monster in left field, he won over Red Sox Nation with his incredible hustle and passion for the game. He delivered key home runs throughout the year, none bigger than the one he hit in St. Louis in Game 4. Welcome back, Johnny Gomes.
Next, covering the hole at short, this infielder played stellar defense and homered in the Game 6 World Series clincher right here at Fenway. Please welcome Stephen Drew. Behind the plate, this catcher had his best offensive year in 2013, highlighted by a walk-off single in Game 2 of the ALCS to tie that series at one game apiece. Welcome back, Jared Saltalamakia. In the outfield and at first base, he served as a big-time bat off the bench, hitting a game-winning grand slam against the Tampa Bay Rays in extra innings during the regular season. Please welcome Mike Karp. At third base, he began his career with the Boston Red Sox and connected for a career-high 17 home runs in 2013. Please welcome Will Middlebrooks. Another homegrown player, this catcher slash first baseman hit 299 in 2013. He recently announced his retirement from baseball. Please welcome Ryan LaVarnway. Shifting to the mound, we welcome back a left-handed setup man who posted a 245 ERA during the 2013 playoffs and earned a win in the division series clincher, Craig Breslow. Another key left-handed reliever early that year, he had a sub-3 ERA in 37 games before a season-ending injury. Welcome, Andrew Miller. A third southpaw to contribute valuable late inning work in 2013 was a Venezuela native who made two scoreless appearances in the ALCS. Welcome back, Franklin Morales. We now welcome back to Boston a right-handed setup man for the 2013 team who allowed just one run in 13 postseason appearances Junichi Tazawa. Our next righty started 29 games for the Red Sox in 2013 and finished game one of the World Series. Tomorrow, he is running the Boston Marathon for the Lingzi Liu Foundation. Please welcome Ryan Dempster. Our next pitcher was a former Cy Young Award winner who the club picked up at the deadline that year and shored up our rotation. Welcome right-hander Jake Peavy. Our next guest missed all of 2012 with an injury but bounced back in a big way in 2013 winning 10 games in the regular season and three more in the postseason, including World Series clinching game six. Welcome back, John Lackey. Our final starter is one of the most dominant left-handed pitchers in Red Sox history, who got the ball in game one of all three postseason series. A two-time champion in Boston who won 110 games during his tenure here. Please welcome back John Lester. 